What's up YouTube, Capital G here, looking at some new cards from Raging Tempest on a Sunday morning, including a new Sophia card, which is kind of crazy, because uh, I would just have to assume that this is going to be the ultimate boss monster of the Dual Terminal 3 storyline. It even, even though it's called Tiara, it even looks like Sophia. Like, if you look at the original Sophia, and then you look at this card, it kind of looks like it with the whole, like, fire here, and you can see that this is some crazy combination of Inferno AT and you've got some towers legs there i'm sure construct is part of this thing i don't know how they're gonna kill this because it took a lot to kill sophia in the dual terminal 2 at the very end of that and uh yeah this card basically has the same exact effect and the same exact stats of sophia so let's go ahead and look at the card i think i got it uh right here it's called tiara goddess of rebirth which is you know same as like sophia goddess of rebirth even though this bitch is dead all right uh the effect is basically the the same except the summoning conditions are extremely ridiculously stupid hard just like uh the original sophia's you know how the original sophia you need like a ritual monster and a fusion and a synchro and it's like well how the fuck are we supposed to do this but it's just like that basically so it's level 11 uh 3400 attack 3600 defense uh basically the same as like sophia even the necros of sophia to be honest she was the easiest one to summon i i think they're, they're all really hard to summon. All right. Uh, cannot be normal summon slash set. Must be special summon from your hand by shuffling 10 other cards with different names from your hand or your side of the field into the main or extra deck and cannot be special summoned by any other ways. How the fuck are you accomplishing this? Unless unless you max seed someone and they somehow didn't kill you, that's like the only way that I could see you summoning this. <laughs> if you like max seed your opponent and they gave you like 20 cards and they just had like a field of like solemn and all this other bullshit of like crystal wing and solemn and cyber dragon infinity and they're like, all right, well it doesn't matter how many cards you have, you can't kill me, you can't beat me. And then you just summon this so fair and you're like, GG, no worry. <laughs> Because you know about Sophia is they can't really be like responded to because much like the original Sophia, uh, this card cannot be, the special summon cannot be negated. So you cannot solemn this. You cannot use any type of like a horn of heaven or anything like that. Uh, effect number two. If this card is special summon, shuffle all cards on the field uh, into, or excuse me, in each other's or in each player's hands in the graveyards and face up pendulum monsters into the extra deck. Effects cannot be activated in response to the activation of this effect. So basically, it's just like Sephira, but it also hits the uh, extra deck too, which of course the original the original card didn't do because there were no pendulums at the time. Again, I can't think of any. I can't think of any realistic way of summoning this card outside of Maxi Challenge that just went terribly wrong because it's not just 10 cards. If it was 10 cards, okay, maybe you could think of some way, but it has to be 10 cards with different names. So, like, realistically, you probably get, you're probably going to have to have, like, 15 cards because none of the cards can be the same card. So, I mean, it's a nice card as far as, like, you know, the dual terminal lore goes, but I, I you're never going to fucking play this card or something like that. Maybe no i was just i was thinking about maybe phantom of chaos or something but it has to be when it's I, I, I don't know i can't think of any fucking way to use this card if you guys can please leave that in the comment section below again i think that this card's creation is more just for the dual terminal 3 storyline i'm pretty sure this is the ultimate boss monster that like all the other archetypes probably have to try and kill and then we've got some other cards from Raging Tempest. We got a new Magic Spectre trap, which uh, looks like it came out of nowhere. And it has Karin on the, or Kirin, I keep saying, people will get all my pronunciation. It has Kirin on the, uh, the what's it called, on the artwork here. That's kind of surprising. I, I thought Magic Spectres were pretty much done. I don't really like this trap that much, though, uh, to be honest. It's a normal trap. It says, target one Magic Spectre and your Pendulum Zone special summon it. Um... Yeah, so I'm not really a fan of this because <laughs> I don't think that this helps Magic Specters at all. Um, I've never really wanted to, I've never really like, put scales on the board for Magic Specters, then Pendulum Summon, and then thought, man, I really wish that I could get my scales out of my Pendulum Zones. Like, I don't really, like, Tornado and Tempest seem way, way, way more impactful. Like, this isn't a defensive card either, you know what I mean? I guess it's, like, kind of a defensive card, but if you're desperate, but it's... 
I, this is not really what Magic Specters need. Magic Specters need like I don't I don't know. They need a card that stops like spells and traps so they don't auto lose like twin twister. They need something like that, like a Starlight Road or something of, of that nature. A card that like yeah, they need something like a, a Starlight Road or something that would just negate a spell or a trap on the field. Cause uh they get blown out when they lose their pendulum skills. They don't need, you know, to be summoning their pendulum skills. And let, they're not gonna get Karen back because that card's too broken. So I don't think that this is remotely what they needed. And then we have the second spirit, uh, the second spirit lord uh, ritual, which is uh, where is it? Oh crap! I think it's my bad. It's in this. Uh, it's in this first one. This one is very similar to the first one, but uh, this one obviously revolves around back row instead of uh, monsters. So this is a spirit lord. Um, I'm gonna try and pronounce this. Hime Kujaku. Uh, that's the best that I'm gonna get. It's a level eight. It's wind. It's a winged beast ritual. Okay, you're. Obviously a spirit too. 2,500 attack, 3,000 defense. That's, that's a pretty good stat line for a level eight monster. It's kind of, you know, basically similar to like Stardust Dragon. You'd wish that you had 3,000 attack, but uh, you know, I guess. Uh, can be ritual summoned with a spirit bird calling. Must be ritual summoned. Cannot be special summoned by any other ways. So if it dies, pretty much uh, you're not going to be able to soul charge it or call it a haunted or anything like that. If this card is ritual summoned, you can return up to question mark spells or traps your opponent controls to the hand. Does not target. Uh, then you can special summon one level four or lower spirit monster from your deck, ignoring its summoning condition. See, that's what I like. Uh, not the fact, I mean, spinning back row is, or it's not even spinning, it's bouncing back row, not targeting. It's okay. Like, I don't think that many people are going to set a bunch of back row that's not chainable anyway. So, like, I wouldn't really feel comfortable summoning this into, like, three back row anyways, because obviously there's probably, like, a Solemn Strike down there or, you know, Phantom Knights of Fall Blade or something like that. But the fact that this summons from the, uh, the deck and instead of your hand is really cool because that means that if you had to give up uh, your whole like if you had to give up your entire hand to summon this then you wouldn't be like you wouldn't be SLL because you could just get a monster like a Nikitama or a Eratama or one of your spirits straight from the deck so I definitely like that and then the effect um the second effect is very similar to the first one uh once per turn during the end phase of this card with special summon return it to the hand and if you do Special summon two, a spirit bird tokens, uh, winged beasts, and of course their wind level four, 1500, 1500 uh, to the field. So it's a basically the same exact summoning conditions, or it's, it's the same exact clause as the other spirit ritual. Like when it gets bounced, it replaces itself some, with some decent sized tokens. Um, I, I think I think this one's okay. Like it's not as good as the the monster one, just because monsters generally, uh, you know, aren't able to respond to non-targeting bouncing. But you know, the fact that this one special summons from the uh, deck instead of the hand is definitely cool. Also, it looks like Cardians are getting a five thousand attack synchro, which is fucking crazy like look at this this guy has zero defense but five thousand i can't wait until we get the effect on this guy which honestly will probably be sometime uh before the end of the day but i think that that is crazy so let me know what you guys think of the new tiara card um if i just how are we gonna summon this like how anyways i hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching as always subscribe if you have not already